you're going to notice how a lot of people have a lot of clothes in their wardrobe but whenever they want to go out they never find anything to wear like there's never anything to wear anyway in this video i'm going to be telling you why and i'm going to be giving you five special tips on how to shop so that you never have to encounter this problem Before I continue, if this is the first time you're encountering my video or you're watching, I want to tell you welcome and do well to click on all our other videos and watch it and just subscribe, like and just show love. For the people who have subscribed so far, thank you, thank you, we really appreciate it. Now let's get right to it. The first tip would always be, where do you spend most of your time? Like, just, how is your life? If you're the type of person that is always, you know, working, 80% of your time you spend in your office, then it's a no-brainer. You know that you should get clothes that are for the office or at least suited to wear to the office and to wear out. So that's one tip that people forget. Where do you spend most of your time? If you are a housewife, you don't go anywhere, you don't, you know, you don't, or you work remotely, you don't necessarily need work clothes. So why are you buying blazers and, you know, why are you buying work pants? You know what I'm saying? If you are a socialite, you go clubbing a lot or you'll be you're invited for events a lot, then you know that you have to buy outfits that fit to those occasions. Why are you not buying them? This is the very first tip for you to know before you go out and buy anything. Where do I spend 80% of my time? Do the 80-20 rule or if it's 60-40 or whatever. Where do I spend most of my time? Anywhere you spend most of your time, that is where you start shopping for from. And then if you say, okay, you spend 70% of your time at work, 30% of your time, you know, at parties, then you know that, okay, 80% of your clothing have to be work clothing, or at least work clothes that you can wear to work and then you can wear to a party. So ask yourself this question before you step out of your house to buy anything at all. Where do I spend most of my time? For me, I do not have a night five. I'm a fashion designer. I go to my shop. Uh, the other times I'm either traveling or going for events. So I know that my clothes are very casual. You know, I have a lot of jeans and shirts because they're clothes that should be they are comfortable. I wear a lot of sandals, I wear a lot of sneakers because I know that okay, when I go to work, I need to look comfortable. When I'm going for events, I have dresses, I have clothes that I wear for those. So you should ask yourself that question before you go out and buy anything. Where do I spend most of my time? That's the first question, and that's the first tip on how to shop. The second tip will have to do with your style. Now, look at your style. How do you know your style? You know your style by, you know, figuring out what you feel most beautiful and comfortable in. You know, if you are the kind of person who likes to be very comfy with your clothes, you prefer like loose fitted clothes or like, you know, caftans or like, you know, free clothes, then that is pretty much your style. That is what you feel most comfortable in. You should recognize that and shop, you know, within that, you know, you know, bracket or within that, you know, fashion style frame, right? Do not go out of your way to buy things that you never wear. So you know you feel most comfortable in like boo-boos and all. You go out and, you know, you see a dress that is trendy. You go and buy it. It's a very lovely dress. It sits in your wardrobe. You have nowhere to wear it to. You have no desire to wear it. But you bought it and you ended up wasting money. Money that you should have used to buy what you love to wear. You should never buy an outfit and not want to wear it. The thing with me is that once I buy something. In fact, nothing new stays in my house, room, wardrobe, for anything more than 24 hours. If I buy something new, then I'm wearing it the next day or the same day. So it's that kind of excitement, it's the you should have towards buying stuff. You should never buy something and look at it like, hey, where will I wear this to? Oh my God. But I have not found where. No, you should buy something that you can wear right away or you can wear, like you should always be intentional about buying stuff. What is your style? What is what makes what is that type of clothing? What are the types of clothing that you feel most comfortable? If you're a pants girl, then you feel most beautiful in pants. Then you should lean towards clothing that are more pants inclined or are more, you know, that you can pair with pants or you buy more pants. That way you don't have clothes sitting in your wardrobe that you cannot wear. So you should ask yourself that question. What is that type of clothing that makes you feel most comfortable? What is your style? You know, once you figure that out, then you shop within the style bracket. This third tip is to invest in classics. Now, there are two categories of fashion, right? We have the classic. Classics are literally, you know, um, the style trends that have stood the test of time. They call them basics or they call them classics. We're talking about maybe a simple white shirt. You know that a white shirt, you would always need a white shirt. We're talking about maybe a simple black shirt, maybe one black blazer, one black pants. We're talking about classic style trends that, you know, 
will forever be in vogue. That you can wear it in 1960 and you can wear it in 1925 and you will look chic. You know, those are classics. Now, the second category of um, fashion style is fads. Fads are trends. They are called fast fashion. You know, trends come and go. Every other week, every other two weeks, there's a trend, right? Now, I find out a lot of people go and buy trends. They buy, you know, you buy a fad today and then in two weeks, it's normal in vogue and then sitting in your wardrobe and you don't want to wear it because nobody else is wearing it. The world has moved on and then you have to move on. And that is just wasted money. So, especially if you're on a budget. Now, if you have a lot of money, here's what you can do. You can do both. You can invest in classics. You can do like 50-50. 50 percent classic outfits and then 50 percent fads that way you know and this is if you have a lot of money now you can afford to you know buy trendy outfits every other you know two weeks but then if you're if you don't want to go out and shop every month or if you don't want to go out and shop every two weeks then the smarter thing to do would be to invest in classics and these are your basic outfits a simple black dress you know whenever you wear a simple black dress you know that you will stand out you know a basic white shirt a button down a nice cool blazer black pants you know what i'm saying so just classics things that you know you know that regardless of the time the season the style trend it would always stand the test of time right so instead of running after trends invest in classics right and then maybe 80 70 percent of your outfit can be you know classic and the remaining you know 20 30 percent can actually be like fads yeah, so that's the perfect tool. The fuck to you could be know your body type and learn what suits you. I cannot emphasize this tip because a lot of people do not know what suits them. They don't know anything. If you want to know what suits you, you can Google. These things are there. Something that would suit someone who is slim and petite will not be right for someone who is tall and, you know, chubby. Something that would suit someone who is, you know, a bit less to tea in shape will not suit someone who is like an hourglass you need to understand what body category you fall into and then dress to enhance it i i cannot like this is the craziest part people wear all sorts of things that do not fit their body shape like it doesn't make any sense just check okay you know if you stand in the mirror and look at yourself you can have an idea of what category you fall into if you're an hourglass, if you're a letter T, if you're in pear shape, if you're like a, a slim frame, if you're tall, if you're, you know, petite, if you're a bit chubby, if you think you can tell what category you can just type into Google and search what suits X, Y, Z, right? You will see options and then you can try them out. You know, you don't necessarily have to go with everything that they say, but you can try them out and then shop for what suits your body type. That way, you do not end up looking really awkward in clothes or wearing awkward clothing that don't suit you. You can also take it a step further and shop for things that suit your skin tone. Like, for example, I noticed that brighter colored, you know, outfits look really nice on really dark skin. Like, if you see somebody who is really dark skin, wear a pink or a purple or like an orange, you can see the color pop. It's like law of contrast, you know. While lighter skinned people, you know, they, they tend to gravitate towards darker colored clothes because, you know, it's it contrasts with their skin. So these are one of the ways to, you know, to, to shop, shop along the lines of things that suit your body type, your body structure, and your skin tone. And you will find out that even the most, the most basic things you wear will end up looking so elegant that people will be looking at you like a style star, but all you did was just understood your body type and shop for it this tip is very important guys you never ever want to wear something that's out of place with your body and a lot of people do that and they don't even know yes everybody we're all about you know body positivity you know everybody should love their body but one of the ways to love your body is to dress it up properly like dress it in a way that enhances your features not you know make your features look weird so this is a tip that you should never forget dress for your body type and for your skin tone you know and you will never, never make a mistake, right? You will never get it wrong. Next tip is to shop for accessories. Accessorize appropriately. Now, you want to go with the basics when it comes to accessories, especially if you have a budget. You want to go with basic colors, neutral colors, colors that go with a variety of things. Because accessories are not like clothes. They're not like things that oh, you necessarily have to buy you know, a lot of. Trust me, with like three, four bags, if you have the budget for that, if you have more money, obviously, you can you know, go wild. But if you're looking to shop with limited amount of funds or on a budget, just stick to classes. You can say, okay, one tote bag, one chain bag, one cross bag, and then maybe one like, proper work bag or work suitcase. You know what I'm saying? 
So for shoes, the same thing applies. You can just figure out where do you go mostly, right? If you're a work girly and then your outfits are mostly work clothes, then you know that you need to pick shoes that are, you know, work shoes mostly. And then you can throw in a few sandals, casual sandals, and maybe one wedge or toe to heel, depending, depending on what you like. And then talking about style, you know, when you're accessorizing, your style comes into play. If you're somebody who doesn't like a lot of heels, it doesn't make sense for you to buy a lot of heels, you know. Stick to what you like, stick to what you are most comfortable in. So the factors that affect accessories are where you go to, which was the first tip, or if it's work, if it's, you know, if you're mostly at home, what kind of shoes that you feel most comfortable in. Now, if you go to work, you don't really have any choice, you know, you can you have to buy work shoes, but then instead of buying heels, if you do not like heels, you can just stick to flats or stick to like shoes that are a little under three inches or four inches. That way you look smart while also being comfortable. And then like I said, you pick colors if, if you have a budget. Now this is for people who have a budget. If you do not have a budget, by all means, like I said, go wild. But if you do have a budget, then you pick neutral colors, colors that go with a variety of outfits. You pick the blacks, the browns, you know what I'm saying, throwing nudes. You can pick a grey and ash, things that would not fight with, you know, colours, you know, colours on your clothes or colours that, you know, you would want to wear. Then for jewellery, go with smart jewellery. You can go with statement pieces. Now, if you can wear a shirt, a very basic shirt and dress, you can throw on a statement, statement necklace or statement earrings that will automatically just revamp your look and make you like this chic person. So really go for like statement pieces when it comes to jewelry. Jewelry that are not very common. Jewelry that can be this conversation starter that can that can you know start a conversation. So you can go with statement pieces, necklaces, earrings, and then you can also go with a lot of studs for those who don't want to wear like you don't the statement pieces are not jewelry that you wear all the time. <laughs> so you just go with you know you do the 50-50. Go with 50%, you know, basic jewelry, your studs, your small loops and all that. And then you can look for more statement pieces. It doesn't have to be a lot. It can be like four or five bracelets, you know, necklaces and stuff that really, you know, will stand you out when you wear an outfit. Now, the last tip I will be given is have fun. You know, in, my, in all the other tips, I said stick with what you like, stick with what makes you comfortable, blah, blah, blah. But because you like pants does not mean that you cannot have variety. It doesn't have to be one type. Now, I like pants. I can have like straight pants. I can have wide legs. I can have different colors. I can have tapered. I can have stripes. Have fun. That you like a particular type of clothing doesn't necessarily mean that you have to buy the same exact thing. There's variety even within variety. So even when I like dresses, like, oh, but instead of just wearing one type of dress all the time, I can switch it up a bit. You know, if I like flayed dresses, I can half the dress is long, short, different structure, different necklines, you know what I'm saying? So that is how to still shop within your style, but not look like you're wearing the same things every day. Because sometimes that's the reason why you open your wardrobe and then you have all of these clothes that look exactly the same and there is no, you know, there is no vibe. There is no, uh, would I say, excitement to wear any of them. So in as much as you want to stick to what you like or what you're most comfortable in, you should have fun with it. Never be, you know, that one and that's it you should have fun with it and make sure that you know you're looking your best thank you guys for watching i hope you learned something today and welcome again if you're just watching or joining this channel for the first time don't forget to subscribe please subscribe click on the subscribe button subscribe watch like we'll be giving you more videos like this and giving you a lot of life tips now this channel is not just all about fashion even though we do a lot of you know fashion shorts it's also about travel i travel a lot so i'm giving you travel tips it's also about lifestyle you know life hacks and then we need to just help each other so all those things that can enhance our lives you'll get from this channel thank you so much for watching once again and do have a lovely day see you next time